Hello, everybody, and welcome to the top five new comics for March 2nd and 3rd of 2021. I am, as always, Chris, and I'm really excited about this week of books. So let's jump into it. Starting with Infinite Frontier number zero from DC Comics. This is written by a bunch of people, so I'm going to name as many as I can. Scott Snyder, Brian Michael Bendis, Jeff Johns, Becky Cloonan, Joshua Williams, Philip Kennedy Johnson, James Tinian IV, and many more. With art by James Iggle, Alex Maleev, Howard Porter, David Marquez, George Jimenez, and many more. So, I mean, this is kind of the start of everything DC's doing post-Future State, post-Rebirth. This is where it all begins. Uh, so I'm always kind of excited for these. Set up the world, set up the universe, see where things are going to go. This is supposed to be able to give us more, a bigger look into the future of DC Comics. So I am so, so excited for this. Um yeah, I mean, I think it's a must for anyone reading any DC comics moving forward. After that, sticking with DC, I've got Crime Syndicate number one, written by Andy Schmidt, with art by Brian Hitch and Kieran McCone. I love the Crime Syndicate. I they're just it's a cool team. It's a cool villainous group. We're getting a six issue series here to kind of set them up for this new universe. Get the new origin of uh, Ultraman. There's a new Green Lantern involved. I just, I love the Crime Syndicate. Whenever they're in something, I'm checking it out. And the fact that they're getting their own book, of course, I'm going to check it out. Um, yeah, it's the first, other than Infinite Frontier, obviously, the first uh, DC book we're getting coming out of uh, Infinite Frontier. It's this and Swamp Thing, and I, I'm really, really excited for this one. After that, we've got Noctura, number one, from Image Comics. This is written by Scott Snyder with art by Tony S. Daniels. So you all probably remember Noctura came to Kickstarter, was a huge success. Surprise, surprise. And now it's coming to Image Comics in uh, issue form. I... Didn't participate in the Kickstarter because I saw the two names involved and knew that this was going to get published somewhere. So I'm excited just to get the the issues and check it out week to week with everybody else. Um, love Scott Snyder. Love the stuff he's done. Um, I've praised American Vampire left and right. Uh, his Batman run was fantastic, so on and so forth. Tony S. Daniels, some amazing art. And it's a cool premise. It's a world cast in everlasting darkness and when that happens it changes things we get new creatures new monsters that appear and our lead character is going to be traveling trying to get people across borders trying to help people move around in her big rig so it's a cool premise uh, i trust the creative team so yeah this one looks awesome after that I've got James Bond, Agent of Spectre, number one. This is written by Christos Gage with art by Luca Casalaguida. I hope I got your name right, Luca. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, the, the short version here is James Bond. I'm going to read it. I love James Bond. But the bigger thing here is I really like what Diamond's doing with James Bond. I think they've had some really great series. I can't name one that I didn't enjoy. And now they're bringing Spectre into it. And Spectre's always been a really cool villain for James Bond, a super group, an aim, a, you know, you name it. And now we get to delve into them in comic form. And in this, it looks like Spectre's going to be going through some sort of civil war, some sort of upheaval. Uh, they don't quite know what their future is, and Bond's going to take advantage of it and possibly ruin his career in the process. We will see. Yeah, it, I just, I love James Bond, I love everything about it, so this one looks cool. I'm going to end with one that, uh, I apologize if it's hard to find, but stick around to the end and I'll help you find it. This is ENIAC, number one, coming from Bad Idea Comics, written by Matt Kint, with art by Doug Brithwaite. So... Right away, as you're seeing the images, the art is stunning. 
I was blown away just by that. That alone dragged me into this book. And then we got the premise. It's World War II. Uh, America's trying to create super weapons. And through this program, they create the atomic bomb. And that's not the only thing they create. They create the ENIAC, which is a supercomputer that can do all types of weird things. And uh, it sounds like a crazy premise. It sounds really cool. A lot of, um, a lot of fun. So I'm just down to check it out. Now, if you're having trouble finding Bad Idea Comics, I will have a link in the description to their website that can show you who around you is selling Bad Idea Comics. Uh, click on that, click your area, check it out. If not, I will also have a link to who I am buying Bad Idea Comics from, a shop out of Scranton, Pennsylvania called Comics on the Green. Um, check them out, give them a call, email them. The owner is really cool, and he hooked me up pretty good with not no special privilege. He has no idea who I am. I just called, talked to him and he gave me, you know, the solid deal. And I, I love what they're doing down at that shop. I think they're really cool people. So that's another way to get it, but I will have both those links down below for you to check out so that you can get your hands on some bad idea comics, because I really truly believe that these books look amazing. So with that, everybody, thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep getting our videos. And check out the podcast, uh, Bat Friends Podcast and Fortress Comic News, along with all the interviews we're doing with Fortress Comic News as well. we got some really cool ones uh, up and for you to watch. Hope you're enjoying them. So with that, I want to thank you once again. And I will see you all next week.